What's going on guys? It's your boy Seso here with a video here today bringing guys a fun Photoshop tutorial for your very own cool I'm gonna be calling it like simple esports header So basically the premise of the video is kind of just going over this really cool simple theme that you guys can go for Whether you're like a startup org or a designer who just really doesn't know about kind of esports It's kind of like what the meta is I guess you would say in that kind of sense and just get yourselves a nice little clean header Whether you're a player or something like that you want to look the part kind of thing I mean it, it happens right of course you want to like look how you want to be and uh, like a cool little esport header might actually help out for you guys and it's really, really simple, honestly. It's just sort of using gradients, very simple sort of typography work, and going like with some very cool smoke, which is kind of like a like a thing that people like to do as well. I actually don't really work with smoke very much, um, but I mean, it's a really cool little thing to do when it comes to esports, make it look dramatic and all that good stuff. So yeah, with that being said, two likes on the video. Actually, no, as you guys know, 275 likes on the video it gives a secret down below as always which most likely be some kind of cool assets to also put you guys in uh with this little little asset thing i'm gonna be bringing out too so you're not gonna get this or that really you just really or you, i probably give you the picture why not um but just basically gonna give you guys a smoke texture here right uh the background that i'm using these backgrounds that i'm using and the other smoke texture i'm using as well that way you guys have everything and all good to go and yes i am on a different angle it's because i now have like three monitors now um and also probably like the quality is pretty different i have no idea like i hope it's good uh let's just see all right let's, let's just get this thing going all right, homies, let's go get this thing going right here, right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut off or just turn this off for a second. And I'm going to throw in our background images. So for your background, you basically want to use whatever game you're going to be using. So for me, I'm using League of Legends. So I basically have Braum and Pike as my little pictures here. Uh, of Whether you're using CSGO, Rocket League, Call of Duty, anything in the universe, um, whatever game you're using, just have that be your background. Because as an eSport player or an eSport I guess organization, whatever you guys are doing, whatever games, maybe like if it's an, if for an esport organization and it's like for your main esport organization, like header or something like that, you can just have all the games that you guys play. Um, yeah, just make sure you guys get good enough images for it. So for me, I have two different images. And also, if you guys want to know, I am in a Twitter header dimension size, which means I am in a 3000 by 1000, 300 resolution, good old image, as you guys pretty much know by now. Hopefully, I'm going to take these pictures and make them a little bigger. By the way, I did when I did update my Photoshop this time, I did not revert um, or how do you say like keep legacy uh, transformation settings up because I'm, I'm so used to it on my other computer in my, in my office and I'm just like, I'm not going to revert it this time. So I'm not holding shift anymore. So there you go. Like a little update. It's, it's like kind of like a like weird thing to say on my channel. Um, okay. So as you can see right here, if you were to be like, look at this, you would be like, okay, these are obviously two uh, or excuse me, one simple picture, right? No, obviously I saw it's two different pictures. And I would say if you guys are going to be taking whatever objects from like a cool different game, let me actually get another, let me get like another game in here. Let me go like Rocket League. All right. So let's just quick, uh, just kind of say if I wanted to have Rocket League and these two different pictures in here, the way you guys want to kind of have this really cool seamless cut out, as you guys can see here, right? Because originally, of course, this Pike picture looked like this where I kind of cut it out so that it kind of looks like seems like this, right? A lot of you guys usually just kind of use it like this where you guys kind of like pen tool it off in like a little simple, uh, like a diagonal line, which is fine and all, but I think there's a really cool seamless way that you can do it that makes it just look enhanced like five times better. Um, so right, let's just say you want to take this, you would basically want to find a, a top of an object and basically the bottom of an object. So for me, I would say right here could be a pretty good top and right here could be a pretty good bottom. So what I'm going to end up doing is just taking this, kind of control T, free transform it, and make it big just enough so I can say, okay, I can then pen tool this right here, right? Let's just like do it really quick. I'm not going to do it perfectly just to show you. I just want to show you guys, right? I'm not going to do it super perfect, but let's just say that you pen tool this super perfectly, right? Right around this. And then you go over the left-hand side. You connect it. You right-click, make a mar uh, make selection, right? And then you just press delete on your keyboard, right? And then you can just see this picture will be down here. The pipe picture will be right here. And it'll be more seamless rather than just having a cut. So if you guys want to do that, I would recommend you guys to do that. Just want to quickly give you guys a little quick uh, little thing about demonstration about that, right? So, okay, now that you have your two pictures, I'm going to go ahead and also add in my player. In this case, it's Afro Moon. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of take these two things. I don't need them anymore. Now, when it comes to cutting people out, I do. I have like a whole bunch of different versions, right? I, I use a lot of the time select uh, subject because sometimes I have to do things really fast. I don't have time to pencil things out. Of course, penciling is always going to be like key. Number one, if you have the time to do it, always do it. But I just want to show you guys a really quick uh, version, right? Just so I don't have the pen tool. So uh, depending if the photographer, this is about the, so I'm looking at you photographers. If you guys are going to go, uh, do a good job, we're going to be upset, right? The reason being is because if you guys use the marquee selection tool or quick selection tool and match wand tool, basically this little group selection right here, and you guys have quick selection tool selected, I don't think it matters actually. 
it does matter no it doesn't matter so one of these little wands right and you select uh excuse me you press select object okay you'll see that it selects the object that's in focus so whether or not if, if your cameraman sucks that's unfortunate mine usually doesn't that's, thank you logan and everybody else um right you can do this really cool simple selection and you just see uh simply see that right here i don't know if you can see right here right it has a plus button which means if i go over it'll then add the plus button or add the selection back right and if i hold alt it changes my plus button to a minus right you can see the plus now this is minus plus and now this is minus right so you just go over here say minus and i want to get rid of this selection over here and get it nice and close and tight to the actual player Okay, this is what I do a lot of the times. I would say maybe like 40% of the time, I kind of do the little quick selection because sometimes I got to do things really fast, like I said before, right? And it's just a nice little way to kind of like cut things out pretty quickly. So once you guys finish kind of selecting it and getting it as close as possible, what I simply like to do is if I had this uh, deleted, this layer mask, right? I would simply just press over here, which is the layer mask that you just saw me delete. If I just quickly add it, it'll then cut everything out for me really quickly and you guys have something left with this. Right now, most of the time you're gonna find little objects and spaces and or, or, or areas where it's uh, too messy in a way, right? So like right here it's messy, right here it's not too cleaned up. You simply just take your brush, right? I would just use a nice little simple like 100% hardness brush, a pretty good size, whatever size you kind of need. I would say right now I need about 11, right? And then black erases, right? When you're selecting on this mask, you see if I just select off, it changes my colors. Like if I just had whatever colors, right? Right? If I select my mask, it changes to black and white. You can see over here. Right now, once I do that, when I use a black brush, it'll basically erase. When I use a white brush, I can just take this little arrow here to change them. It'll then fill it back in. So what do you basically have to do is you just simply go ahead, change it to black, and you go around here. Now this is like for like I said for quick usage. You can just take it right and kind of fix it just as much as you need it. Right. If you got to fill it back in, you press X to switch your colors really quickly. Right. And you can fill it back in if you need to. The ear needs to be cut off a little bit more yada 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 thing kind of thing obviously i'm not going to do it again but you're going to get a lot of areas like this in their jerseys you just, what i like to do is kind of like fill in around the area and then i can just take my eraser again with my brush excuse me not my, my eraser my brush my black brush and kind of go over it just like so just so i can get it back filled in correctly and for me that's a little bit quicker than penciling sometimes uh if the subject's a little bit complicated but regardless i think this is a pretty good spot to meet now also i want to add as well Let's just say when you guys are done with your mask, make a duplicate copy, okay? So it's Control J for a duplicate. And I would just simply right click and convert it into a uh, smart object once again, and then right click rasterize a layer, which makes it a clean layer, all good to go. And what you would like to do is go to uh, image, no, not image, layer, matting, defringe, one pixel, press okay. And you'll see if I press Control Z and then uh, Control Shift Z, which goes forward, you can see what it basically does. It doesn't, for some reason, I'm doing it. But you see right here, little white little spots, kind of like, uh, I guess, almost like a, a failed masking kind of thing. If I go to matting, defringe, one, you can see it kind of goes away a little bit. And you have less, like, simple, small erases you have to have to do, right? For me, that's pretty cool. And just something you guys to know. And also, when you guys do color correction, what I like to do is right-click, uh, convert to smart object. Once you guys finish defringing it, right? Go to filter, camera raw filter. And basically what I like to do is simply just add, right, a little bit of clarity. I'd say about 25 or so. And I take my uh, vibrance, lower it down a little bit, press OK. And that's how you basically get from this to this. Very simple. So now I'm going to take my finished copy that I did and a little, a little more time on, uh, take it and throw it in my actual esports header. Okay. So I know that was like super, like super long, but I promise you when it comes to like, you should know how, how to cut things out really quickly if you guys need to. And you should also know about camera off filter. Good. Just we're good to go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do is have my, this is my player, so I'm gonna take this, make sure I call this my player, okay? I'm gonna take a new layer, obviously not a new layer, I'm gonna click on my pike layer, which is my background layer, okay? And then use my adjustments and go to uh, gradient map, and with this gradient map, I'm gonna be usually putting on a nice little sort of gray to uh, black kind of ratio gradient. So on the left hand side, I have my gradient map being pure black, right? Press OK. And on my right hand side, I have a nice little gray. Now, of course, if you want the background to be darker, I would then just go ahead and just take this and just move it more further down. However, I think if you get too dark, you kind of lose it a little bit. And I also do have a little bit of a uh, blue hue to mine, which just means I have it more towards the right and not completely over to the left, um, which hex code is uh, 5A5C60. So press OK, press OK again. And that's my simple little green that I have here. Now, if you want things to come out a little bit more in, in a sense of detail or lightness or whatever, or brightness, excuse me, you can then go to camera raw filter again on your background. Right now I clicked on my pike layer, right? 
And if you want to, you can just take your clarity and just throw this up. You can take your highlights, throw this up as well, and you can press OK. You can see how much kind of happens, right? But if you don't want that, you don't, you don't have to have it on. I actually have what I had before off. If I turn this off for a second, kind of have this little, I did the same thing right here. You can see how, how that difference is. Now, if you guys want it, you can have it. Um, if you guys see like around his little shoulder part, it's very, very, the highlights kind of push out a lot. Then you can go ahead and go back into your camera raw filter, right? And then lower your highlights down, right? That gets rid of that sort of like too much brightness that's going on. So keep this in mind when you're coming with your gameplay photos, you guys are gonna definitely run into that issue. And the reason why I'm explaining it is because those are issues are kind of important and kind of ruins the design a little bit, just so you guys know, okay? So next is of course, putting the player's name in. I'm gonna put in Afro Moo, right? Just like so, make sure this is above the gradient layer. Just push it up, okay, okay, there we go. Make this a little more bigger. Now, when it comes to, of course, like subtext, I would like to put in what the player does. So I would say like League of Legends support player, right? Or player, uh, I think something like that is pretty good. Like, or if it's like Rocket League, whatever the heck positions there are, something like that, right? So people understand like the little simple little context of who this person might uh, be um, if they don't know already, right? Legends support player, make it a little more smaller. Okay, I'm also gonna take my characters table, which is under a window, okay? Character, that'll open that up for you guys if you guys never seen it before. You see this VA here, you can take it, click on it, move it towards the right, and it splits your letters. Uh, it it uh, gives space in between each letter. Kind of makes it look kind of cinematic and cool. Let's do that just like so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the nice little logo design, which is right here, the 100T logo, whatever team you're using, whether it's your team or not, put that logo right here as well in the middle, okay? And then also, lastly, I guess you would say, if you guys have sponsors, right? Now, if you don't have sponsors, whether if it's for a personal person, um, you can put social media. Like that's what I'd actually rather put down here, um, but also sponsors as well. But if you wanna put social media as well, maybe even kind of take out the subtext right here and then put social media kind of stuff. I didn't even think of that until just now. So that's what probably I would probably end up doing, right? I'm gonna take this, center it with all four, right? Not just the name, I'm gonna center it with all four of the, uh, the little group that I just selected, right? Which is the logo, the subtext, the main logo, and the sponsors, right? If you censor it with just the actual uh, name, they're gonna look like this, and then everything is gonna be very top heavy and awkward. So that's why I would say, make sure you guys center it with all things selected, right? Now, I think this is pretty good, right? Okay, I'm a fan, right? I'm gonna take the, the I also like putting in, a, in the main text, almost like a secondary color. So I'm gonna put this little bit of a gray in, right? A nice little gray to kind of kind of switch it up just a little bit, add a little more texture, uh, variety to it, right? That looks pretty good. So, what I'd like to do as well is what I did over here was so just let's go ahead and do this, do this, go over here. Uh, this background little thing I did, just the name of the nice little simple background kind of way to kind of just fade it in a little bit, add a little more space in there or a little bit uh, filling space in there. So I just take the name, the name, right? Control click on it. By the way, if you didn't know already, if you guys use the move tool and you hold control and you select the different things on your uh, your canvas, you can simply collect, uh, select things really, really fast, um, which also makes sure you have your layer selected, not group selected, okay, right? So I'm gonna take my Afro text, control J, so I'm gonna take this copy, right? Put it below my Afro text, main text that I already had, make it bigger, okay? As big as you guys would like, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is pure white. So I'm gonna go to my characters, color, pure white, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I lower my opacity down just a bit as well. Okay, now I'm also gonna add a layer mask to it. As you guys know already, that's what the whole black and white erasing thing is. So I'm gonna take my black brush, uh, use a zero hardness, right? Or one hardness, whatever, zero hardness, just like that, right? And I'm just gonna click and erase it on that side over there. And I'm also gonna go ahead and just take my uh, eraser, click on the left-hand side, right? Hold shift and click on the right hand side and that makes a straight line where you base, uh, basically select, uh, selected before and makes it a nice little clean seamless, uh, I guess you'd say almost like transition, like a gradient transition, right? And if you guys wanna race a little bit more, you guys definitely can in some areas, okay? Now once you guys have done that with your Afro text here, I'm gonna make another duplicate of this new text that we just kinda just made just now in the background, right? And I'm gonna fill this back in. So basically the black that I have here is gonna be filled back in by just pressing Alt, or no, excuse me, Control Backspace. Wait, control Backspace is by the way the quick fill for your foreground color. So since they're already gonna be black and white, if you press Control Backspace, it'll fill in the white, of course. Now with that, you take your fill and you lower it down to zero, okay? Then you wanna double click on this new copy that you just made and then you filled it back in. 
put a stroke on it. Two stroke is pretty good, right? And I'm gonna go ahead, take my opacity, put this back up to about 100%, right? And I'm gonna right click, convert it to smart ob object once you guys are done with everything. And then once again, then add in your uh, layer mask again. And then this time, besides pressing control backspace, you can press alt backspace, which quick fills black. Now, if you guys really want to, you can take your eraser or your brush and just fill in black. That's also is fine as well. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead in, get you pretty close with a white brush and just kind of fill in some of these little areas where I can put this nice little simple, you know, little background thing, right? Now, this is a little small touches. This is kind of like, like a my kind of thing when it comes to like what I would kind of do kind of thing, not something you have to do, but kind of adds a really cool simple texture to it. A little minuscule detail that someone can like and enjoy. And I'm also gonna go ahead and go by passes. You guys just saw I lower it down about 40% or so, just so I can say, I like how that looks, right? Okay. Now, last but not least is basically the hardest part, I guess you'd say, which is then blending all these little simple smokes. Okay. Now when it comes to this, I'm not the best at it. I'm pretty sure there's probably an even different or better method. Um, right. So what I'm going to do is I make my, my player pretty good size. I'm going to go ahead and go to my assets here. You guys will have this, by the way, it's in the description down below and I'm going to smoke. I'm going to take this first one here and I'm going to then go ahead and put this. Let me also make sure this is, uh, recording. Cause I actually have no idea. Uh, cause I'm using something different. I'm using OBS design. If you guys didn't know. Okay. Right. Take this first smoke texture, put it over here. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and just say right above the player, this is my first one. Okay, we're gonna take it. I'm gonna also take my eraser now. Now, if you guys wanna use layer masks as well, I would actually prefer you guys to use layer masks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that instead. Take your layer mask. Of course, this is again, the whole black and white, erase and fill in thing. So you can take your brush, your black brush will erase, and you can just take it, make your opacity not 100%, but 80. This will make it so that it doesn't erase fully, but it erases just enough, 80%, and it kind of gives you a little more leeway of like kind of giving a little more of a smoke kind of vibe. So if I click once, it's not 100%. If I click again, that's 100%, right? So I'm gonna click just around right there so I don't get too too washed out already because I wanna add, you know, three or four more uh, smokes. So after I add my first one, right, I'm gonna add another one, which is gonna be the second version of the smoke, which is this V2 version, a more of a smoky kind of feel. The first is kind of like more of an atmospheric kind of thing, right? I'm gonna take this one and kind of put it right in front of him. And this is where you kind of get more of this little faded, you know, dramatic look to it, almost like a dramatic lighting kind of thing. Now on this version two smoke, I already gonna, I'm already gonna have it on for you, but I have a gradient on it, right? Usually it's gonna be pure white, which is a little bit too blinding. If I put this gradient on it, which is a simply, right? A simple gray, okay? To a simple uh, lighter gray, I guess you would call it, right? Um, which is not pure white, but just a little bit of a, a more of a gray tone, uh, darker scale, right? So it's not pure white, but it looks pretty good when I, I think it looks pretty good, right? So, excuse me, I'm gonna take my V2 smoke, so I have this one and this one, right? Take one of this V2 smoke, right? Hold Alt, click on it, and drag it below my player, which should be right here, right? I'm gonna take it, put it behind my player. So the thing you wanna do is definitely like mess around with like foreground, then me, and then you see my chair would be the background. Kinda like think about it like that when it comes to adding smoke. So you can go ahead and do, is then I'll say, okay, I'm gonna add this one there. I'm gonna say, make another duplicate of this one by holding alt again dragging it and letting go you can see it makes a duplicate again and i'm gonna go ahead and turn off my gradient overlay and i'm gonna press Control u on my keyboard and make this black by going all the way down to negative 100 lightness and Control u brings up this table right and take this black put it behind here as well i can even go ahead and put it above the player as well so holding alt right make another copy putting it in front of the player taking my brush with my layer mask and kind of getting in there and erasing a little bit this is just adding a little more texture and I would say three or four more times or three or four copies of it is pretty good. I'm going to say I have about the fourth copy right now. I'm going to say, okay, I'm done. Now I'm going to add one more thing. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go to my smoke V2 original, uh, where I didn't erase anything, right? Take it, hold alt, bring it below my player. And I'm going to put it on top of all the other smokes. Oops. That was my phone. My bad. Let me turn this on mute. Um, I'm going to go ahead, right? I'm going to take it, go into my effects, my gradient overlay. And I'm gonna change this gradient overlay to whatever color that you guys choose, right? So I'm gonna use a black to red. So it's gonna be pure black on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna go with a red. That's more of a higher uh, contrast, by the way. So more of a higher pigment. So kind of going all the way up to the top right. And this is where you can change the color, of course, if you wanna make it blue, purple, whatever. I'm gonna go, with, of course, red, because it's the 100 Thieves logo, right? So think about it like that, whatever your color is, maybe it's like an orange logo, go with an orange smoke. There you go. Okay, press okay. Press okay again, right? Press okay again. I'm gonna go ahead and put that thing right around there. Now the other smoke that's behind it, right, which is this one right here, I'm gonna go into it and I'm gonna delete it a little bit. 
right? So I can, the, the other smoke that's behind it uh, can kind of uh, come out a little more, right? So I can take it. So that's pretty good. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more pigment, I guess you would say, since it is a smoke texture, simply just press Control J on your keyboard to make a copy of that same one. And then you can go like over here, back to your uh, layer mask, and erase it again in a little simple area so that little parts kind of like almost pop out as a little bit more brighter. Um, it kind of has a better vibe to it, in my opinion, right? And I would say, it's looking pretty okay to me. I would go ahead and maybe add like one more like V2 smoke right in front of the player. Right, and kind of add it like on the left hand side more take your eraser and like erase it a little bit kind of make it splotchy right and i would say oh so that's pretty good yeah okay so now to finalize this thing and kind of like make it as clean as possible i'm going to go ahead and take my first layer right not excluding this one this is not going to be there for you of course right take my first top layer holding shift going all the way down to even my background okay so click on the background layer that'll select everything in between it I'm gonna press Control J on my keyboard to make a duplicate of it. Now, if you have a lot of smart objects, you'll see I'm loading right now. So, of course, if you have a lot more than me, you have more pictures, it might take a little bit longer, so don't really worry about it. And then press Control E on your keyboard to then merge it all together, um, and you're good to go. So you have this simple layer with everything in it. So what I'm gonna do with this layer here is I'm gonna go to Filter, Sharpen, and I'm gonna base, uh, basically use Sharpen Edges, go to Filter, Sharpen, and use basically then just Sharpen, okay? And then I'm going to go to uh, filter, uh, where is it, noise, add noise, and we're going to be adding 2% uh, noise. We got to kind of zoom in a little bit more. You can see the preview a little bit. I don't know if you can actually tell. I'm going to press OK, though. Okay, you can see it adds a little bit of noise. I'm going to press Control alt z You can see it right before, after, before, after. This is kind of adding a nice little noise texture to it, right? Uh, more of like an ambience kind of thing. So with this one, I'm going to use a layer mask again, which is going to be how we erase, right? I'm going to take my brush. And basically erase, so you can see it like definitely right here. If I take my black brush, which is, is erasing right now, right? You can see it gets rid of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just basically kind of erase pretty much everywhere, right? So you can see over here, oops, if this is not pure black, you would notice, okay? Oh, this is the opacity. I got to change my opacity. Make sure you change your opacity back to 100%, okay? Right? And I'm going to go to white. So, or you can also do alt back, back to this. Just quick fill. Remember that? Uh, so I'm going to take my white brush, okay? Now with this white brush, I'm gonna basically be clicking and adding noise only basically where the smoke is, right? Right here, a little bit over here, right? A little bit over here. And then I would say that's pretty good. I'm gonna add just like a splotchy hit there, like a splotchy hit over here. Just adds a little bit of, uh, like a little bit of feel to it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing once again, holding a whole shift thing and always oh, to the back, uh, excuse me, top holding shift to the layer, there we go. Uh, and then the bottom one holding shift as well, select everything between, control J to uh, make a duplicate, and then control E to merge it all together. So we're gonna have another copy with now with all that little simple noise in there. And we're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're gonna be using a 1.5 pixels Gaussian blur. We're gonna press okay, and then we're gonna add a layer mask once again, which is how we're gonna erase. And we're gonna take our brush. Now the first is gonna be 100% opacity. Click on the left hand side, I would say about mm, like third of the way, like the third, like this, let's see, like one, two, three, so about a third of the way of the canvas, right, clicking on it once with the white brush is gonna be erasing, oh, excuse me, black brush is gonna be erasing, click on it, hold shift, click on it again, if you wanna erase a little bit further down, you can just simply just take your mouse and just kinda like go over it very lightly, also pretty much immediately erase over where the sponsors are as well, okay, and now take your brush again, take your opacity, or excuse me, uh, your yeah, opacity, and you change it to about, I would say 60%, okay, and then you would take this, Click right around the third or the second third of this, so the you know the, the half, I guess you would say. Click your black eraser. Click on the left hand side. Hold shift. Click on the right hand side, and this will basically erase it very like in like almost like a gradient way, and it kind of leaves the bottom right here very noisy and very blurry, which adds to that dramatic effect, which then makes it look pretty freaking elite when it comes to that nice little smoke, and just adds that nice little feel to it. So once you guys are done with that. You can then add whatever assets, fun, textures you guys would like to. I'm going to keep mine fairly clean. Uh, of course, you can even go back and... Oops, I hit my mic. Uh, even go back before I added this kind of stuff. If you want to say you want to change the color of the background, just simply by doing that, just using the gradient map, changing your secondary color on the right-hand side to a different color, right? I mean, you can do that, all that kind of stuff. Have fun with it. Explore it. This is more like a bare-bones based version of how you guys basically get started and making for, you know, your own esports company, whether it's like... Uh, 
I don't know, like Dragon something, right? Whatever, like Dragon Esports, right? Take something from your logo, from your brand, and put it into the header. So you think Dragon, maybe make fire. Like maybe you have cool fire textures going on, and then that's your branding, right? You always have fire going on. So think of something like that when it comes to those Esport headers. Always make sure you guys add the name. Make sure you always, uh, of course, uh, maybe highlight the player, right? Which, of course, is the name. Also, their social medias, all that good stuff. And you're on your way to a nice, successful eSport header, right? So, hopefully, you guys do enjoy my video here today. I'll talk to you guys later. Cecil HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love, and I hope you enjoy your day. Love you.